した言葉が鳴り響いてささやかな夢ザイスラーマーだって What is going on, sup peeps and lads? This is your main host, Blaze Sonator, but you can call me B Sonator or Blaze for short. And welcome to Persona 3 Portable. This, I actually wanted to like adjust some things before we actually start. First thing I wanted to say was sorry for not posting for about a week or two. You know, your boy has been busy. Um, I've been busy and I've been doing a lot of thinking on my mind. And I'm like, okay, a lot of people wanted me to let's play this game. So I checked. So I looked on Google and I asked Google, Google, how long is Persona 3? And these were the results I got. And I said, well, okay, I mean, Persona 3 can't be that bad. So I decided that I'll do this let's play for all of you. So you can be. Satisfied because I don't want to turn my fans down, you know. I must give my fans what they want, and that's what I'm gonna do. So, I played this game before, but it was like two years ago. Um, I really didn't know what I was doing or how this game worked, so. Yeah, I played this game before.、Um, I already know I already know how, how all of this is going to go. We're obviously going to go with, with, the ma- with the male. And difficulty. I'm going with beginner. Why am I going with beginner? Because I haven't really had. Much experience with Persona games. Like, this is like my second Persona game I'm ever playing. The very first Persona game that I've ever played was Persona 5, and that was pretty much it. I'm not a Persona expert, because, you know, like I said, this is like my second time playing this game. So don't expect me to, like, be so good. Like, don't expect me to go for, like, hard mode or. Maniac, because I am not a persona expert. I'm really not a persona expert. So we're going with beginner. Yes. Now, please enjoy the game. Terminal station opening. The station entrance is buzzing with activity. Meanwhile, elsewhere. Who is she? I just, I just put it into my, my head. p u l l the trigger. trigger. Wait a minute. I know this soundtrack. No, I can't.
but that was weird. Inside the new city passenger train. I don't know how you say that word. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and sound it out the best I can. If I don't get it right, I'm sorry. Annie Hazuru. We apologize to any customers who are in a hurry. The next stop is Iwatodai. Iwatodai what? late. It's almost midnight. Hey, hey, yo, what the hell? It's been so long since I played this game. I barely remember anything. Um... Something about the atmosphere seems odd. Mm -hmm. It would probably be best to hurry to the dorm. Yeah, I figured that. Because why would all the lights automatically shut off like that? That's kind of freaking creepy. Something going on with that. As you walk from the station, you see, you notice coffin-like objects lining the deserted city. And I'm looking up at the moon. What the? It's an eerily gigantic moon. Okay, I don't remember a moon being that huge. Something is definitely going on. Gekukan High School? Iwatodai Dorm? I think I said it right. This is the dorm mentioned in your admission pamphlet. Pamphlet. Oh, boy. Welcome. Wait. You're late. I've, I've been, been waiting, waiting a long time. Who are you? An unknown boy is holding a piece of paper out of out to you. If, if you want, want to proceed, proceed, then please sign here. It's, it's a, a contract. Okay. There's, There's no, no need, need to, to be scared. scared. I mean, I don't I don't really see why I shouldn't be scared of you. You're just like a random person appeared out of nowhere as soon as I walked inside of the dorm. And so, no, like as soon as I walked inside, how can you randomly appear out of nowhere and say all of this and expect me to not be scared? It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Something is written on the paper he's holding out to you. I choose this fate of my own free will. I'm reading way too fast. I need to slow down. Below it is a blank to sign your name. Okay. What am I going to name my you know what? I'm just gonna go with Blaze Senator. Uh, yeah, that's about right. 
Proceed. Yes. Very well. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. And so it begins. The unknown boy disappeared as if melting into the darkness. What the fuck? Who's, Who's there? there? How, How can, can you be? be? But, but it's... Don't, don't tell, tell me. me. The girl is holding something that looks like a... Wait. Wait. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to ask, who are you people? The lights. And now all of a sudden everything turned back. What is this? What is this game? I didn't, I didn't think, think you'd, you'd arrive, arrive so late. late. My, My name, name is Mitsuru Kirito. Kirito. I'm, I'm one, one of the students, students who live in the storm. storm. Who's, Who's he? he? He's, He's a, a transfer student. student. It, was it was a last minute decision, decision to assign him here. here. He'll, He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys dorm. Is, is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This, this is, is Yukari, Yukari Takeba. She'll, She'll be a junior this spring, spring just, just like you. Hi, I'm, I'm Yukari. Yukari. Um, nice to meet you. Wait, why do you have a gun? Why do you have huh? a gun? Um, well, it's, it's sort of like, like a hobby. A hobby? Really? Well, not, not a, a hobby, hobby but... but... You know, you know how, how it, it is these days. days. It's, it's for, for self-defense. Right. Self-defense. Yeah, I guess you can say that. It's, it's not, not a real gun, gun of course. course. It's, it's getting, getting late, so you should, you should get some rest. Your, Your room's, room's on the second floor in the hallway. Your, Your things should already be there. Oh, I'll, I'll show, show you the way. way. Follow, Follow me. me. Dormitory, second floor hallway at the furthest door. This is it. Pretty easy, easy to remember, remember, huh? Since, Since it's right at the end of the hall. hall. So, so, any, any questions? questions? Um... Does that kid live here too? They probably don't know about the kid. You know what, I'm just gonna ask, what's that contract? Huh? What's, what's this about, about a contract? contract? What, what contract? Yukari doesn't seem to know what they're talking about. See what I'm see what I'm talking about? They don't know anything about this unknown boy. I mean who wouldn't know about this unknown boy? Randomly appeared out of nowhere. Um can, Can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, station. Was, was everything okay? Um... I knew that... I knew that everything was not okay, but it doesn't give me an option to say everything was not okay. So you know what? I'm just gonna say yeah. I see. Never mind then. I'm just gonna say yeah. Well, I better get going. Even though everything was not okay. Um, I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night! Good night. Okay, you probably walk down the stairs. This is your assigned room. Okay, got my dorm. Also, press the R button to display all the icons that can be accessed. Press the R button again to hide the icons. Press the triangle button to access config, erase data, load data, and type. Okay, I can finally control. Uh. Before I go to bed, let me see what's around in this room. The mirror reflects your regular face. Desk, you are tired today. You should go to bed early. I know. I just want to check around here first. 
hold up. Uh, calendar. Okay, we got a whole calendar here. Cool. Alright, there's really not much in this, in this room, so I'm just gonna sleep. Open the door. Good morning. Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Sanpai asked me to take you to school. Are you ready to go? Okay, then let's go. I'm not gonna be rude and say I can find it myself. Inside the new city passenger train, Anihazuru. I don't even, I still don't you even know. You have to take a monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? Sorry to cut the dialogue there. What I was trying to say was, I don't think I can, I still got that, that word right. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm absolutely, like, literally trying my best with these dialogues. This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh look, you can see it now! It's probably the FPS. If you see, like, if you guys see, like, the talking is glitching out, uh, yeah, I'm playing on a emulator right now. It's probably the frame rates on the emulator. I'm probably gonna have to fix that. Because it's definitely glitching out. Morning! Morning! Well, here we are! Welcome to Gekukan High! You're gonna love it here! Yeah, I didn't think I said, um, Gekugan the first time when I was in front of the door. You're okay from here, right? Don't think I said it right. You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? No, okay. not really. I'm not gonna ask what class you're in. About last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you later! Anyone what I saw? Press the square button to select an area and go there immediately. Please make use of this function to move around. Okay. So now I don't have to move all over the place just to find the places where I want to be. Cool. Answer. Oh, are you the new student? Yep, that's me. Play Sanitary. 11th grade, correct? Yes. The teacher is flipping through pages and Wow, home. you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, 10 years ago? Your parents... I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Nice. Wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. As you begin the new school year, I'd like each of you to remember the proverb, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... The principal continues with his speech. Hey! The student behind you is trying to get your attention. 
You came to school with Yukari this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. Okay, yeah, what about it? Hey, I have a question. What's your question? Do you know if she has a boyfriend? Why are you asking me this? Ask her yourself. I don't know. I see. I thought you might know, but I guess not. I just met the girl. So how well do you know her? I don't know her at all. I just met the girl. I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. You hear lots of people talking. Cool. Homeroom is over. Your first after school session is about to What's up, dude? How's it going? Who are you? Me? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. I transferred here when I was in 8th grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I wanted to say, hey, <laughs> see what a nice guy I am? Cool. Hey, it's Yukatan. I didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> At it again, huh? I swear you'll talk to anyone if they'll listen. Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? Facts. What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? Yeah. Funny, huh? Um, hello? Are you forgetting that I'm in this class too? By the way, I heard you two came to school together this morning. Oh my god. <laughs> What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. What are you talking about? It was just a normal walk to school. What? What is wrong with this dude? We live in the same dorm. There's nothing going on, okay? Why are people even talking about it? Now you have me worried. Maybe people ship us. Even though we just met. Hey, you didn't say anything to anyone about, you know what? Did you? Uh -uh. Okay, good. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, alright? The fuck you looking at? What? The last night? Oh my god! Oh, oh, you have a dirty mind. Wait a minute! Don't get the wrong idea! You got a dirty, he has a dirty mind, bro. Listen, I just met him yesterday and there's absolutely nothing between us. Jeez. Tell him again. I've got to go. I've got something to take care of for the archery team. But you better not start any rumors. Uh, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man! <laughs> this is gonna be a fun year. I can feel it! Fun year. You decided to go home with the truth. Well, check out the jocks on the run. Say, uh, you thinking about joining a club? You'd be joining as a new member, though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. You made small talk with Junpei as well. You can save your game at the side. Welcome back. I mean, I'm not really ending the episode off here yet. So I'm not really gonna save here. So, um, whenever I'm ending off the episode, part one, then I'll save. Later at the dormitory lounge. A young man walked down the stairs as Mitsuru was reading the book. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? 
Have you seen the newspapers lately? I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Um, I'm sorry, them? Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry, I'm just getting a little practice. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. You overhear a conversation. Did you hear the rumor? Oh, um, something about a battle? N no. Not that one. I mean, the story about the first year student. Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. If her mother tries to talk to her, she only mutters to herself, it's coming, it's coming. Huh? How about that? You don't believe me. The first bell has rung. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zen Zu Kasai. I I don't know how you I don't know how you say these names, man. <laughs> Ugh, why him? I rather teach Ut Utsubu Subo Kubota what guys I am so sorry if I'm messing up the dialogues. I know I'm messing it up bad right now. I know I'm messing it up bad right now. He became famous as a singer, but he's also produced fine literature. Yeah, yeah. I wonder why it's not the textbook. Well, I'll just bring Kubuta's book next time. Okay, I don't know what they're talking about. If the, if this if if all of this happened in real life, I never heard about anybody named Kabutas. Uh, like, I, I never heard of anybody named. Hey Junpei, were you listening? He probably wasn't. He probably wasn't. Who did I say was my favorite author? Oh, that's an author? Um, I never heard of... I really never heard of an author named that at all. Like I said before, earlier guys I don't read I don't read <gasps> well I do read but I don't read a lot Psst, who does she like yup got it right that's right so you were listening to me after all <laughs> Well, you know how I like to pay attention. You really don't. She wasn't talking to you. Man, you saved my bacon, Blaze. You hear your classmates whispering. Blaze give him the answer. He must pay attention in class. You became slightly more popular. Your charm has increased. Hmm, interesting. Class has ended for today. There's nothing to do, so you decide to go back to the dorm. Evening. 
the dormitory lunch. Yukari is already here talking with an unfamiliar oh, man. he's back. So, this is our new guest. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Okay. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? It really is. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Yeah, that one, that word isn't really that hard to say. <laughs> That's pretty easy to say. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? No, I'm Then, good. I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. That's so corny. Please forgive the bad pun. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. That wasn't lame. That was just corny. <laughs> well, I suppose corny and lame are kind of like the same thing. You decided to return to your room and sleep. Later at a certain room in the dormitory. What is this Working music? hard? What is this music? Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this soundtrack. <laughs> so, how is he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. Are y'all stalking me? Are you guys... What the hell? Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Dark hour? Meanwhile, in a back alley of... Tatsumi Port Island. <sighs> this sucks. Upbeat music is playing from the radio that the man threw away. KJ Radio presents the Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kirijo Electronics. Kirijo Electronics, always there when you need them. The time is now midnight. Is this the dark hour they're talking about? It must be. The dark hour. Huh? What the? What's happening to me? Um. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Whatever happened to that guy, he... All I really know is that he's totally dead. Back at a certain room in the dormitory. Hmm. He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. I knew it. I freaking called it. That was the dark hour they were talking about. Where the clock goes all the way at 12. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Oh, interesting. Now I'm, now I'm starting to get why all the lights and the, the moon changes when this so-called dark hour happens then he must be as you can see he's retained his human form he's asleep but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour oh. the only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential potential 
Although, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Of course I have the potential to awaken my persona. I mean, I played Persona 5 before. I kinda get, I kinda get this. This game is kinda similar to Persona 5 in some way, but not really at the same time. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Stalking. Yes, sir. Stalking. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Feel bad? I don't think that's spying. That's stalking. I think that's called stalking, to be honest. Well, stalking, no. Stalking is definitely not the right term to go with that. Yeah, I think I'll stick with spying. Master. Master Blaze Senator. Who is calling me Master? Who? What are you guys? What are you talking about? What the hell? The Velvet Room. That has to be the Velvet Room. Yup. I hear the soundtrack playing. This is the Velvet Room. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Mm hmm. I already know about all of this stuff. I played Persona 5 before. Only those who have signed the contract. And enter this place. Signed the contract. Ugh, that unknown boy. I cannot stop thinking about him. The paper you signed at the dorm is lying before Igor. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability. And you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return. Mm -hmm, and that is? That you abide by the contract. And assume responsibility for the choices you make. Yeah. I understand. Hold on to this. Obtain Velvet Key. Till we meet again. Okay, he gave me the velvet key. Now it's Thursday. You felt like you had a strange dream. It's time to go to school. Yo, man, I'm so sleepy today. In times like this, it's best to sleep during class. You never notice how sometimes taking a nap in class makes you feel more refreshed than sleeping at home. Actually, he's right. I don't know what you mean. You go from dead to being completely full of energy again. It's such a great feeling. Then again, I'm not listening to the lecture, so I'm screwed later. Oh, but we have classic literature today that means we're stuck with mr nasty old ecoda yeah i don't know who that is oh him ahem i'm mr ecoda i'll be teaching you classic literature i'll be teaching you about good old japan all some people say classic lit isn't relevant to everyday life, but oh, how they're wrong. The students, the other teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. You feel tired. Close your eyes for a few minutes. Yeah, this is boring. Oh, what? 
So if you doze off, then the whole, basically the whole school, the whole after school finish. That is cool. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we usually end up here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade, and oh, oh, this is where you come to rent out CDs too. Then there's that club over there. But of course, uh, I've never seen the inside. The station is bustling with students on their way home. Welcome back. The moon is beautiful tonight. It might be nice to read a book by moonlight once in a while. Uh-huh, but when the dark hour starts, the moon doesn't look the same. I know, that's why I'm trying to use Square to teleport me all the way to my room, but I guess I'm gonna have to go up there too. Is it on the second floor? Yup. If he wants me to go to bed so early, I'll just sleep early. The dark hour is beginning again. Oh boy. Oh man, oh man. What's going on in the dark hour? At a certain room in the dormitory. Don't tell me that. Oh. How is he? The same as last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. But this subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. New members? I heard he's your classmate. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? Yeah, I guess. But still. I'm glad Yukari is actually the only one who cares about me at this point. An emergency call from outside rang through the room. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Um, what are you guys talking- Is it a shadow? Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. It has to be a shadow. All right. Be careful. What else could it be? Akihiko! I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What the? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takiba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! Ha I'm going! Yuru, you are woken by a loud noise. You decided... Well, you decide to go take a look. Go take a look. Wake up! Sorry, I'm coming in! I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now. Okay. Hurry, downstairs. We'll leave through the back door. I'm not going to be a piece of Wait. Work. Take this. Just in case. Handed you a short sword. Okay, let's go. The uh, dormitory first floor at the rear entrance. All right, we should be safe now. Should we? Talk about Yes, I hear you. Be careful. There's more than one enemy. 
more than one? The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. Are you shitting me? What? Uh, let's go back. Second floor. What was that? It's getting closer. Keep moving, hurry! Let's go. The dormitory rooftop. Okay, we're at the rooftop. <sighs> The door's locked. I think we're safe for now. Are we though? We're outside. Yup, see? Huh? See? What the hell is that? You gotta be kidding me! You climbed up the wall? What type of shadow is that? We're on the roof. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait. That's the thing that attacked this place. We call them shadows. Oh yeah, I have to fight. I can summon mine. No problem. Okay, yeah, the game is for two hours. Okay, I got the gun now. So am I gonna aim it at my forehead? What am I gonna do? Yup. Well, if I do this, I'll just blow my brains out. Ooh, there goes my persona! I didn't even do anything. The persona just attacked the whole shadow by itself. What on earth was that? <gasps> the sudden swallow of power has subsided. Orpheus regained its original form. You have obtained a new persona. But I didn't- Is it over? I didn't even attack the shadow. My persona just went overboard on it. Um, it's still moving. After getting all those hits, after- did you did you see how my persona was bodying that shadow? There's no way it's still moving. A piece of the shadow is heading for you, card. No! Get away from me! You have to save her. Am I finally gonna be able to fight it? Okay. Oh yeah, I'm able to fight. Uh skill. Bash. Attack. I don't know what type of sword this is, but yeah, it's dead. That was easy. You felt a surge of energy inside after the recent P level 3, which is player level 3. Your hit points and spirit points have increased. You are now able to create personas up to level 3. Something inside of you has changed. Orpheus has leveled up. ST has increased by one, which is 
strength, right? EN has increased by 1. AG has increased by 1. Orpheus learned AG. The monsters disappeared. It seems Yukari is safe now. I mean, safe too. You feel exhausted. You are losing cautiousness. Consciousness. I'm reading too fast. <gasps> are you okay? Oh, come, come on, please. Can you hear me? Answer me. Oh yeah, I think I'm I'm gone. <laughs> Igor, this is the Velvet Room, was it? It's so nice to see you again. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called the Persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. When you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please remember that. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. Okay, we're just going to skip all those days to Sunday. Cool. Your head is getting clearer. Are you telling me... Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me I've been sleeping for the, pa for the past week? For the past... I've been sleeping for a whole week? Is that what you're telling me? A whole week or two. I think that was like two weeks. I've been sleeping for two weeks. Well, no. I've been sleeping for 10 days. So that's a week and three days. Okay. You wonder how long you've been asleep. You feel someone's presence beside you. You're awake. Uh, how, how do you, you feel? feel? Thank goodness you finally came to. Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. But your power, it was amazing. What I do? <laughs> the power you used. We call it Persona. I knew what I did, did, but I didn't have an option. It doesn't really give me much options. So, that's why I just picked that one. And those creatures you defeated are shadows. Our enemy. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh, I wanted to tell you that I'm sort of like you. My dad died in an accident when I was little. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, right? To be honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. Oh shit, really? He was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. Kirijo group? So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them too. 
I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. Mm. I was scared too. Really? But still, here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So, thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. Yeah, not a problem. Alright, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you woke up. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Okay. April 20, Monday. Yo, long time no see. What's up? Did you have an upset stomach or something? Uh, I went, I read too fast. I didn't even read the whole dialogue. I need to stop doing that. Anyways, I got something to tell you. What's up? Actually, oh wait, I'm not supposed to say anything. Sorry, man. Chuckle. Sheesh. Someone's full of energy today. I could hear you from all the way over here. Ah, you two came separately today, even though you guys are in the same room. Oh, we're all tired of hearing you talk about that. Bro. Bro, why, 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 do you, why do you think me and Yukari are together? How many times do I have to tell you I just met the girl? Blaze Cun, are you feeling better? Sorry to hit you with this first thing in the morning, but Ikutsuki san wants to talk to you today. Come to the fourth floor of the dorm after school, okay? Don't forget. Morning. Ugh. That's enough. That's enough, mammoths. I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants. And that wraps up for the Stone Age. Ugh, I'm tired of lessons about stones. I'd rather talk about the Sengoku era. Japanese history is not that exciting until then. Though I'm paid to see to do this, so I've gotta. It's tough being an adult. Next is the Joman period. When do the samurai get their day in the sun? I'll just ask a question at random and call it a day. Hmm. Hey Junpei. What was the style of houses in the Joman period called? Uh, how am I supposed to know about something way back then? Um, study on it, I guess? Quick, Blaze, what the heck is he talking about? He's just using me to get the answers. It's mud huts. That's correct. Mud huts were built by digging a hole in the ground and supporting the roof. It's no use. I can't get interested. Ugh, I want to get to the age of katanas. Everything else is so dull. Hey, I answered right. And I don't get any credit. Um, no. Because you literally let someone t told you the answer for you to get the answer right. So, you don't deserve any credit. Oh well. Thanks, Blaze. No problem. You hear your classmates whispering. Hey. Uh, Blaze told Junpei the answer. He's really smart. You became slightly more popular. Your charm has increased. Class has ended for today. There seems to be something important going on at the door. You decided to go back early. There's no one in the lodge. You were told to go to the fourth floor. Yeah, well, um, I'm not gonna go to the fourth floor just yet. I'm going to save here because 
I don't even know how long I was recording for. Probably a whole hour. So, guys, um, I'll call episode one here. Um, make sure you, uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Um, this is your main host, Blaze Senator, signing out, and have a great rest of your day.